Sweet! Okay, let's try this again. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> let's go inside. Sounds having its good old time. Okay, in we go. Yeah, the bard we met at um at the Grove, I'm pretty sure. Let, let's go through Matoldi. Hey, buddy, can I, uh, any way I can help get you out of here? With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid. Draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. She's really enjoying that. Burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. Is that even a word? So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention. Frugalus Galide. I don't even know this language. Bravo! Um, and then there's just staying silent. She says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I? <laughs> Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oops, certainly not. I didn't even get the what option to leave. I'm busy here. Okay, can I? You to you. Never. Let's continue our ballad. Draw Ragslin. Draw Ragslin. Oh, dear Lord. Um, uh, he, he's stammering. I am um, Draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous. Draw Ragslin. Uh, um. Oh, God. I do not envy your position, my friend. He's not doing very well. You broke it. Wait, wait. Draw rags in. We pray. We come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Uh, stay silent. I'm gonna leave before I fuck up his situation anymore. Why won't it select four? There we go. Idiot. What's this? Fire wine barrel. It would be stealing to pick it up. Oh god, she pushed him. Take a look around. Because, you know, I have a feeling some of these things might come in handy, but I'm not sure. Why are you, why are you being so choppy, game? Oh, 
Lazel wants, not Lazel, Shadowheart wants to talk. What's up, girl? What do you need? Can I, please? Dear Lord. <laughs> Maybe if I switch to her, I can have her talk to me. There we go. We have to find Halson before it's too late. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoners' welfare. Agreed. The sooner we find them, the better. Uh, let's not be too hasty. There's a lot of goblins here. We can't afford to provoke them. Both are true. <laughs> There's a lot of goblins here. Let's try to get as close to him as we can without picking a fight. Yeah. Okay. She had the same idea. <laughs> That is easily solved. Let's uh take a look over here. Actually, no. What's up here? Hopefully, it's something we can like take for supplies or selling without having a uh, massacre about it. Bunch of sleeping goblins. Some bugbears. Oh, there's a teleport. Come on, oh, damn it. It's flying off again. It's flying off again. Oh my god. Can can we can we not do this game? Thank you. Let's get the waypoint. So, I'm shooting arrows at this eight. Come on. There we go. Then this other guy twirls his fingers and some light comes out. And the dwarf just stops. Up here. Just stands back up. They're cooking dwarves here? Dear lord. Is there a way to get? Is there a way to get up? Oh God! Where am I going? Where are you, where are you taking me, game? Oh. There's another way. A spear. Stop, the bees stop, stop. The of them. They're practically unconscious. We can take that if we can. Let's shift that over to somebody else. Where is it? Lazelle's got the least. Is there another one in here? Huh. Nope, not really. Alright, let's climb back down. Wait, wait, there it is. There it is. And I suppose if we want to pick up more, just to see if we can sell it, there might be some in the village where we got more or less most of the goblins to uh, disappear. Let's keep the tank out front, especially because we got ogres on the scene. Oh, that's right, she doesn't have dark vision. And also, the torches haven't spawned in yet. Bloody racket. So, Luna, 
as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Yeah. Uh, not your usual haunt, I take it. Uh, don't have to tell me. To yeah, you really don't. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Makes sense. It's goblin infested for one. Ogre and bugbear infested for two. You smell like an old hole. Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolutes work. State your business. Now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. All right, let us through. Even if we get a three, we pass. Love it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Oh, beg for pardon. You must be here to join the other true souls. Uh, please, go right ahead. Well, because that's what you are, innit? One of them as hears our thoughts, and the voice of the Absolute. Like Priestess Gut and Boss Ragslin. Gods, we even got a drow now. The Absolute is gathering us all together. For something big, I reckon. Okay. Bloody racket. Okay, so she's used it. So we're not going to be able to get it back until we rest. So perhaps we can utilize all our companions' parasites. Oh god, come on. It's freezing up again. Oh wow, this isn't a cutscene. I have to actually speak to her. Okay, let's uh You're not worth it yet. Quick save. Please quick save. There we go. Okay. Let's talk, priestess. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Uh, why should I let you brand me? I assume this mark has a purpose. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself, this'll sting. So it could help us with goblins. We can cover it up if we need to. Hold still. As the pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Really? Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I could help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Do you think you can fix whatever's causing those shadows? 
creature inside my head, can you help with that? With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Priestess, right, go ahead. We want the mark. Right, we can follow her in. I'm gonna quick save before we actually go in the door. Okay, Shadowheart's hair and my tail just are not having the best of days. Alright, quick save again. <coughs> in, in we go. Jesus. What is that? Can't touch it, can't pick it up. Oi, come here. Ready to clear your head. Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Alright, let's try it. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. So what what do you want me to do? Ready to clear your head. Yeah. Don't want to cry to go I have to dismiss my companion. Okay. Maybe. Do I need to. Maybe if I just. Ungroup? Another special visitor. You've been touched by the absolute. Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your oh arms god, so we I all need. Oh shit! There's no one here. Can we please kill her and get on with our day? Yeah, this is gonna hurt. I know. So oh, they didn't still. care when he did it. As the pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. What are you hiding in there? There's some weird shadows swimming around. I already said I'd help you, mate. But I'll fix you one at a time, right here in the chapel. Send them through. Okay. Ready to figure out what's going on with those shadows in your head. You've come to the right place. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Ready to clear your head? Yeah. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Okay, so they... They're grouped together. So can I just send them outside? Ready to clear your head? Yeah. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. What does that mean? Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So... Okay, they close the there door. There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind, like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Seal your mind against intrusion, allow her to rummage. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flayer holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches, and you are looking through her eyes. As a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Then get it out. Um, still have all my senses. I'll find another way to deal with it. Pretty sure one of those parasites squirm. Yeah. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things. Probably hearing voices too. Yeah? 
No. You ain't leaving till we get to the bottom of this. You could be dangerous. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. I guess we're doing this the hard way then. Ah, oh, Lord. Oh, no. Sweet dreams. What did she do? Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. Hey, Portal Master, how you doing? The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. I know that much. I saw the whole horrible story in your memories. And I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out, your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. Lies! I'm stronger than ever, and I've got the absolute on my side. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. Dear Lord. the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. Oh god, I'm not gonna pass that. Your muscles burn with the effort, but the chains hold strong. Target's 11. Oh god. A sharp pain shoots through your ah! arm as the bone pops out of place. The chains hold tight. Open your papers, freak. It's time. You should be sprouting tentacles by now. But you're still the same kind of ugly you always was. There's a point in not to have my own squiddy. But your giblets will make for a tasty supper. Ah. Uh... Sorry. I may have left that a little late. No lasting damage, I hope. Who are you? Carilla Heartflame. At your service. My master has been keeping a close eye on you. When you got yourself in this predicament, he sent me to help. And who is your master? An observer. He's curious about you and your condition. At this point, you're more interesting alive than dead. So here I am, your savior in times of need. <clears throat> Be a little more careful. That skin's valuable, and we won't always be watching. Okay. Okay. Lovely. And she killed the guard. Incinerated the god of mark. Who the hell's does she serve? Okay, um, fuck me. I need to get back to my companions. I hope after I walk out of here, I'm not gonna be instantly attacked. Something over there.
Probably not, though, because I have the mark that they were talking about. Yeah, let's... Yeah, no more looting. Let's try to find a way out. Alright, so this is probably it. Let's quick save. Please don't be surrounded by enemies. Oh, oh, we're in her room. Water barrels. Could use the water, that's for sure. I don't know if there's any survival aspects to the game or not, but I know there are in D&D sometimes. All right, let's quick save. A Actually, first, let's see if we can transfer it to our companions. Okay, quick save again. is locked but I should be able to just open yep there we go quick save I don't like this am I free to go hello who are you and there are other people here all right let's talk to them that the jingle of coin I hear You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. Sounds good. Strength check? What was I doing a strength check for? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. So, so this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mind. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Oh, dry your eyes, ill mater. It's me or a goblin cook pop. I know which I'd choose. Now, much obliged for the chat, but I'm here to trade. All right, let's see your wares. Death is better than slavery, but I don't think being eaten is better than slavery. <laughs> Potion of greater healing, we got one. Alright, so let's see what we can sell, or what she'll take. Definitely don't need the candles. Bones, bloodstone. Onyx, we can give to her. Agate, we can give to her. We got more than one robe needed. Take that, take that. Take the club. Not sure how we use torches, but I'm gonna keep it. Take that. Take that. Sixty-six. What does she have? Other. Ooh, a crossbow. Not proficient in heavy crossbows, though. Okay, both of these are heavy crossbows. Dagger plus one. Chain shirt, metallic boot, not proficient in medium armor, studded leather, let's take that, oh my god, how much is that? It says 500, we need to save up some gold, barter, hmm, huh. I've got one scroll of silence, so if I handed her that, it would give me how much? 182. Protection from good and evil. I don't really... Uh, target... The target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by... I, I haven't encountered that so far, so we can sell that off. So what... 
how far down are we looking for this? Potion of poison. Fuck. Right, I might not be able to get it just yet. We'll try not to slaughter the whole area. <laughs> So we can at least um Pleasure. come back to her. What the hell is this? Smoke powder barrel. Examine. Uh, given the volatility of the contents, the barrel ought to be opened carefully. What does it explode? blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's gates. What it uh, Okay. Oh my. Ah, uh, that's a lot of barrels, Jesus. Is there a way I can get through? There is or there might be. Let's try going here. I like this. All right, um, jump. Can I, too high. Too close. Let's try backing up a little bit enough space. I can't jump on top of a table. Damn it. Oh, what? Now, I want to sit on it. Can I pick it up? No. There's got a way to be, be a way to get in there without any Hi. Huh. Should be a. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. There's definitely a way. Cause how else would I get up? Uh, up there. Maybe we can try the rogue. Maybe not. Maybe I need the jump scroll. We'll see. We'll see. Back through here. Nothing over here. So we'll go back down. Let's just take another look around. See what's up. Nobody's actually the absolute that muck on your mug. Oh god. Do I still have this decorated with war dung? Remains until rest fully rested, Jesus. Je you know what? <laughs> you know what? Let's let's quick save here, go back to camp and rest for the night. And get that effect off of me. <laughs> I do not want to deal with that any longer. Mm. The twilight is darker than expected. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Press the fingers to your mouth. What the fuck does that mean? Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched, no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? 
tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazel's fear grips you, not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. Mm, the I great see. warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Oh god, if I hover over the option it tells you. Okay, so don't see don't you see how far you've gone? Like, give me the blade, I'll make it quick. Ooh. Come on, come on. 17. Bah, I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. That's fine. That's totally fine. Shadowheart wants to talk. Cam's gotten real decorated. Feels like we packed three days into one today. I'm exhausted. Speak for yourself, I feel fine. Uh, you sure it's fatigue from the day and not something else? You as well, I feel like I've marched across uh, Toro without stopping. Could be the tadpoles doing, or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's just get some rest. Absolutely. How you doing, Gale? Oh, what a night. What a god's that. <coughs> you feeling it too? Blood. That's a pretty sight. So give it to me straight. How do I look? Like your handsome self, Gale. Like a dog. As in sick as. <laughs> Rather not say. And no better, no worse than you usually Thanks. look. That's what I thought. You don't look so hot either, I might add. And neither do the others. So either the fish we had was bad, or... Or it might just be happening. We didn't have any fish? Uh, you reckon it, this is it? Or it might be nothing, just go to sleep? Everything that's been happening to us so far has been most irregular. Who's to say this is not just another anomaly among many? My way of saying I haven't a clue. I'm going to bed. Sleep if I can. Find some peace if that's possible. Sleep well. Meanwhile, I'll just pretend I had the fish. I feel you. I fully understand. <coughs> Leave me alone. I do not have time to waste with you. Okay. You can go through the agony alone, then. A shiver racks your body. It takes a moment for will to come into focus. You've got wits of white steel. Can't say I'm not impressed. All we can do now is... <coughs> <coughs> ...see what the morrow brings. Your head swims with the slightest motion, and your legs feel as heavy as iron. I reckon come dawn, we'll be... <coughs> <coughs> right as rainbows or not 
And if that's the case, I guess we're just all fucked anyway, so... Anything more, Lazel? We have yet to find Zoru. Or have you so quickly forgotten? We talked to him. He has seen my people. And where we find Githyanki, we will find their crash. What do you suggest we do next? Uh, do you know what happens if we don't find the cure? Well, okay, I've asked her all these questions before. Hello, did we speak? Talkative skeleton? See, I want to be able to do that, but in the, in the priestess room. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. Can you explain why you're helping me? Be assured, it is not by choice. Really? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. You'll revive? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Understood. A matter of coin. Two hundred gold. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Well, we don't have anybody to revive, so we're good. This said it had something in it. I doubt it. Yep. Doubtful. Alright, let's go to sleep. Chosen. Let me come to you. I can help you. I've been searching for you. You're always so far away. But I'm already here. You frown in your sleep. There must be so much on your mind. Her fingers are warm against your cheek. Softer than expected. You think that you're sick. That you're dying. Are you afraid? Back off, touch me again, I'll bleed you dry. I don't think I have any power here. You know. I think in your heart you know. We wouldn't be here like this if it weren't destiny. Come now. I'll make you feel better. Let yourself go. Lean back. Something in your blood stirs and twists, recoiling like a wounded beast. It wants her gone. You're not ready. I will return when you are. But... I do have a parting gift. Uh, okay. Illithid powers. Supernatural attraction. Uh, you are part of a greater whole. Concentrate on your connection and teleport to another infected... Oh, wow. Everybody wants to talk. I feel much better than I did yesterday. Amazing what a night's sleep can do, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Not even just that. I awoke with new... I don't know... powers. It was the same for you, wasn't it? The good health. The power. The dreams. 
I don't need to worm my way into your thoughts to know that. It's all over your face. Is it that obvious? Yes, I had a dream, a rather vivid one. There's nothing strange about having a dream. Why do you care? I'm glad you're feeling better, but otherwise, I haven't a clue what you're going on about. So did I. What were they like? Whoever came to you in the dream. Tell her what you experienced. Can't keep nothing back. What makes you think anyone else was in my dream? Tell me about your dream if you're so keen on the subject. It was you. I saw you in my dream. Different from mine in some ways. But the same in all the senses that matter. I dreamt of someone I'm very attracted to. There was a promise of power. I had exactly the same dream when aboard the Mind Flayer ship. Don't you think that's suspicious? Oh, absolutely. Suspicious, uh, suspicious is putting it very mildly. We need to be careful. Uh, hunting for more meaning in dreams. For fools, this could be Quint... Nah. I'm glad we're of the same mind. If this happens again, let me know. We can't take anything for granted. Especially when it's to do with what's going on up here. Oh, definitely. Good morning. And it truly is, isn't it? A very, very good morning. The night brings counsel, so the saying goes. But last night had quite a bit more in store, wouldn't you agree? There's a glow about you. About everyone here. We all feel... startlingly well. And yet there's a certain look in people's eyes. The far-off distance of a haunting, which begs yet another question. Did you too have such puzzling dreams? Not in silence, mind your own business, Gale. Surely not the only adjective that springs to mind. What I saw surpassed the vivid. The voice was too true, the touch too tantalizing. I can tell you felt the same. It was an expert, this apparition. First the seduction, then the spurning, then that teasing souvenir. You're not ready. I will return when you are. That's what I was promised. We have some restless nights ahead of us. Yeah, certainly do. Okay, so... Asterion, let's talk to him about it. Having fun telling everyone about your naughty little dreams, are you? I had the same dream, of course. Very... Hmm. Enticing. Okay. I mean, he's not wrong, but yeah. Is this? Oh, that's the skeleton. Well, look at you. Fit as a fox and twice as eager. I feel it too. Not just renewed, but improved. New talents aching for release. Okay. My blood is cleansed. My muscles still. I have been shown new might to tug foe and fiend into reach. Damn it all. Okay. She's not having it. Close. Can I talk to you again? Did well met. Oh, okay. Uh we sniff out the gobo leaders and take their heads. And we free the druid housing while we're at it. If we want these brain bugs removed, he's our man. We're failing that, this gift crash sounds promising. If Lazel's telling us straight. I know, I know. That's a pretty big if. Massive. Huge. Alright, well, one of them's already dead. I thought we'd have the option to tell him that since he uh he liked the idea. Well, let's quick save here. Leave camp. To go right back to where we were. Oh, God. Where are we? Okay, standing on some steps. Interesting, what's this? Can I rip off his ears? Tear out his eyes! Oh, they 
Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat! Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. If I can, I want to save it. Okay, so plus three. Performance plus three. Go have yourselves a drink. Your boss sent me to relieve you. Please, for the love of God. Come on. Ah, damn it. You? I'll believe that when I see it. Fine, I'll do it. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. S sorry, sir. I didn't realize. Hey, he's all yours. Now just, get out. Just don't be too rough, maybe. Moonrise Towers might still want to take him. Get out. Wait, why? He has no legs. Oh no, his legs are just curled up. What? The prisoner? Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Uh, relax, I'm not gonna leave you here. I'm looking for Halson. That's all I know. Please, get me out of here. You didn't tell me anything. Somewhere underneath the temple. It's hidden in a secret vault. Okay. But Brian had instructions, but... The goblins got him. They... They, they said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I... I don't want to die. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, be patient. Please. Hold on. Hurry. We got a rogue here. We're going to ungroup him. Rogue. Stealth. Wait, what the hell? Why would I pickpocket one of my own party members? Uh, hide. Pick. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Uh, tell me, have you seen the Druid I, I don't know. He, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. What are you doing with your arms? Okay. Bye. Get out of here quickly. Group. There we go. Oh, come on. Did it? F there we go. What the hell is he doing? You got candles all round ya. Use them. Okay, we're gonna ignore that for right now. Let's see if we can find where they put Volo at, so we can see if we can get him out of here. Uh, quick save. Is he in here? Open the door. Uh, 
Um, right, she's that one's leaving. Close the door. Quick save again, just in case I need to like slit her throat. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Peach! Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Oh, your pet actually sounds like a rather famous writer. I was admiring him. The mark glows. But you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Hmm. What do I need? F oh, shit. The bonuses get me above five anyway. Alright, alright, calm down. I don't want no trouble. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Thank you. Relax. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. Mm hmm. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. And how will you do that? Uh... Get to safety. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> so you just we expected to use it now? I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Sure. Uh, a fine mess you landed yourself in. Slip the yoke. How do you intend to do that exactly? He said he has an invisibility potion. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. Okay. Is it an actual? Oh, it is. Okay. Sweet, we rescued him. Let's see if there's anything we can get from here. Just three potatoes. See, I thought he had an invisibility potion, or what he thought was one, and just didn't have the right thing. Oh, okay, so it's an expert from Volo. Pick up. Rotten bag open. Nothing. 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 Okay, so I think when we return, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to figure out what's up with the rest of this goblin camp. So I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.